I want to show you in this video how to remove rows automatically. So you probably already know you can right click and delete row. You can also select any number of rows, even just the cells, and you can delete rows. And it'll tell you which rows you're deleting here. But what if you want to delete rows automatically? One semi-automatic way is if you right click delete row, and then you do command Y keyboard keystroke, that will continue deleting rows. So let's say we want to delete some rows and keep some other ones. We can just select any of these rows and command Y is just redoing the last thing you did. So if you ever do something again, so do something else, then you'll be doing that again. So maybe we copy this and paste it. Now our command Y is just the last thing we did. So that's a semi-automatic way to delete rows, but let's look at the automatic way to delete rows. Maybe we have some information and we're just going through it and we want to automatically delete the rows as we go through it, maybe Digly. So we go to App Script. That's how we're going to do our automations. And we'll just select row two and delete it. So how do we do that? Let's first figure out what sheet we're on. We're on sheet one. So we're going to do spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet. Then we're going to do get sheet by name. And we're going to do sheet one. Get range. Actually, I don't think we need to delete get range, we can delete row. And now it's gonna ask us which row position. What we're wanting to do is row two, because we wanna just delete that second row there. And we're gonna hit Command S and see what happens. Our function, let's call it delete second row. And if we want to right now, we can automate this. We can go over to triggers. But first, I wanna show you how to do this with a custom menu. So we're gonna to go to bettersheets.co slash snippets. We're gonna go look at the custom menu with these two functions. I just wanna copy this here. And this is going to create a menu. We'll kind of call this automations menu. And we're just going to delete second row. So the second thing here is with the function it runs. But the first text here is whatever we want to show in the menu. So we're going to delete second row. Command S, save that. And make sure it has the orange gone. We're going to close our app script and then we're going to refresh. And once we refresh, it's going to load app script. And once it loads app script, it will have our automations menu. We have a second item here, but the one we care about is delete second row. We may have to authorize the very first time we run it. So we will authorize it with our account and allow. And then we're gonna try again and you'll see here it worked. Great, so let's go back to our extensions app script. But what if we wanna do that every single day before the workday or after the workday? By the way, if you wanna delete this second item, we just have to delete this row here. But what, what if we wanna delete the second row every single day, meaning automatically? We go over to triggers on the left side, and here we have the ability on the bottom right to add trigger. We're going to choose the trigger we want to run, which is delete second row. Our select event source is what we're going to change to time driven. This is what, how we do automatic things. We're going to select the timer to day timer, and we can select an hour in the daytime. We're going to select after work, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m., save. Now this trigger is going to run exactly the same thing we just did. So exactly just like this, delete second row, it's going to do that every single day. And if we want to delete this trigger, or we wanna edit it, we just go back to, let's go all the way over to extensions, app script. It's going to reload. Click over here on the left side, triggers, and it'll be here. Let's do that again, triggers, and it'll be listed here. One thing that's interesting is if you create a trigger, other people and other accounts cannot edit that trigger. Also, if others create a trigger, you cannot edit or delete it. We can delete our own, we can edit our own if we want to change this maybe to weekly or maybe every hour. We can ch definitely change all of these options here and we can also hit the three buttons on the right side and delete that trigger. So I hope this was really helpful to remove rows automatically in Google Sheets. You can select the row, select the sheet you're on, you can use this automations menu in one click, delete it, instead of having to right click and delete that row. You can also choose which row you're deleting using this delete row function here.